Good morning, students. Welcome to Narayana online classes. Today we are going to see nature of the roots of a quadratic equation. So, what kind of roots will occur when a quadratic equation is solved? What kind of roots are going to occur? Whether it is real roots or whether the roots are equal or not, whether the roots are imaginary, how to check it? If a quadratic equation is of form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a is not equal to 0, a, b, c can be belongs to complex numbers. They can be complex numbers means they can be real and imaginary. So all these three can be complex belongs to complex numbers. Now according to quadratic formula x is equal to minus b plus or minus under root b square minus 4ac by 2a. Whatever the term we have under the root, whatever the term we have under the root, it is called as discriminant. It is called as discriminant. It is denoted as b or delta. It is denoted as b or delta. If this b square minus 4ac is greater than 0, b square minus 4ac is equal to 0, b square minus 4ac is less than 0, we have three kinds of things. So let's see what it is going to happen if b square minus 4ac is greater than 0, roots are real and different. In this, we have one more sub, uh, sub part if case 1 b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 and perfect square and perfect square. See, roots are real we said. Real means they can be rational or they can be irrational. If b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 and it is a perfect square, the value is, for example, you got 4. 4 is a perfect square, you got 9. 4, 9 is a perfect square. Then roots are rational. Are we said real? In real, one of the part is rational. In that, b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 but not perfect square but not perfect square roots are irrational if b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 roots are real and equal real and equal if b square minus 4ac is less than 0, roots are not real, means imaginary. They are imaginary, we call them as complex conjugate. Complex conjugate. See, if one root is real, obviously the other root will also be real. If one root is imaginary, other root will also be imaginary because at max we have two possible real roots, they can be two imaginary also, they are complex conjugated. That means if one is in the form of a plus ib, other will be in the form of a minus ib. Okay? So this is all the basic part of the nature of the roots. This is how we decide where this is the important thing. This will decide what kind of uh, roots are going to occur. Let's see some of the examples on this. Which is 12. 12 is greater than 0. 
is it a perfect square? No, it is not a perfect square. Therefore, roots are irrational. They are real only, but roots are irrational and different or distinct. Okay? So, as we got d square minus 4 is greater than 0, roots are real. In that real, whether rational or irrational, how to identify it? If it is a perfect square, rational. If it is not a perfect square, they are irrational. Let's see one more question. Find the nature of the roots of 2x square plus 8x plus 9 is equal to 0. It is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Therefore, a is equal to 2, b is equal to 8, it is of 1, ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Now compare the values, a value is 2, b value is 8 and c is 9. To find the nature of the roots, we need to find the discriminant, which is b square minus 4ac. So b square, 8 square, minus 4 into a value is 2, c value is what is 8 square? 64 minus 4 2s are 8, 8 9 is 72. 64 minus 72 is minus 8. Minus 8 means less than 0. If roots are, I mean, if the discriminant is less than 0, roots are imaginary. They are complex conjugate roots. Let's see one more question. Find the nature of the roots of 4 by x minus 3 is equal to 5 by 2x plus 3. Is it in the standard form of a quadratic equation? No, it is not in the standard form of a quadratic equation. So we need to make it to the standard form of the quadratic equation. So 4 by x minus 3 is equal to 5 by 2x plus 3. By taking the LCM, 4 minus 3x by x, 4 minus 3x by x is equal to 5 by 2x plus 3. Now do the cross multiplication. Means 4 minus 3x into 2x plus 3 is equal to 5x. Now using distributive property, 4 into 2x, 8x, 4 into 3, 12, Minus 3x into 2x minus 6x square minus 3x into 3 minus 9x is equal to 5x. So transpose all the terms to right hand side. 0 is equal to minus 6x square if I transpose plus 6x square. 8x minus 9x minus x. I transpose minus x to the other side. Minus x if I transpose other side become plus x. Plus 12 I transpose to the other side. Minus 12. 0 is equal to 6x square plus 6x minus 12 is equal to 0. See, each and every term contains 6. So I divide the entire equation with 6. 6x square by 6, x square. 6x by 6, x. 12 by 6, 2. x square minus x, x square plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, it is in standard form. So what is the value of A here? 1. What is the value of B? 1. What is the value of C? Minus 2. Use this discriminant to find the nature of the roots. B square, 1 square, minus 4 in A value, 1. C value, minus 2. 1 square, 1. Plus, minus into minus, plus. 4 into 1, 4. 4 twos are 8. 1 plus 8 is 9. So 9 is greater than 0 and perfect square and perfect square. Therefore, roots are rational and distinct. Rational and distinct. Let's see one more question.
find the nature of the roots of 2x by x minus 4 plus 2x minus 5 by x minus 3 is equals to 8 1 by 3. It is not in standard form. It has to be converted into standard form of the quadratic equation. How to convert it? Take the LCM. x minus 4 into x minus 3. Already x minus 4 is there. With x minus 3 I should multiply. 2x times of x minus 3. Here only x minus 3 is there. With x minus 4 I should multiply. 2x minus 5 into x minus 4 is equal to 3 8 is 24 plus 1 25 by 3. On multiplication 2x into x 2x square minus 6x plus 2x into x 2x square minus 8x minus 5x plus 20 by if I multiply these two x square minus 7x plus 12 is equal to 25 by 3. See 2x square plus 2x square 4x square minus 14x minus 19x plus 20 by x square minus 7x plus 12 is equal to 25 by 3. Do the cross multiplication. 3 into 4x square, 12x square. 3 into 19x, 57x. 3 into 20, 60. 25 into x square, 25x square. 25 into minus 7x, minus 175x. 25 into 12, 300. Transposing all the terms to the right hand side, 25x square minus 12x square, 13x square. If I transpose minus 57 x other side, plus 57 x, minus 175 plus 57, minus 118 x. If I send 60 other side, 300 minus 60, 240. So, we have transposed into quadratic equation form, right? Now, using this different formula, we can find what kind of nature of course it contains. Hope you understand. Thank you. Have a nice day.